Hi, thanks for joining me today. This series of poses is going to focus on some both stretching and strengthening for the upper back to help improve our posture. And also, since we're doing most of them standing, it's gonna work a little bit on our um, stability and balance too. So we're gonna start in a mountain pose. We want our feet to be hip distance apart. Think of lifting all the toes up off the mat, spread the toes, place the toes back down. Find that even connection in all four corners of the feet. The ball joint of the big toe, the ball joint of the little, of the little toe, excuse me, inside of the heel, outside of the heel. And find an even weight front to back with a tiny bit more weight in the heel rather than the toes and the balls of the feet. Arms down by your side and already start. Let the palms face forward, let the sternum lift. Think of the collarbones being nice and wide. Feel the shoulder blades kind of when you widen those collarbones, feel the shoulder blades kind of slide and wrap around towards the spine. When we round the back, they kind of end up out here around the sides of the body. So think of drawing them onto the back of the body towards the spine and make sure that the head, it's very important because we have a tendency and it can be just a little bit to let the head be a forward, forward head position. So think of letting, drawing the chin back so the head is right <clears throat> on top of the spine. So from this grounded foundation, focus on your breath. Breath is just as important as the movements in our practice today. So just find a steady, even breath, breathing in and out of the nose. Fill the lungs from the bottom to the top as you inhale. Release the breath from the top of the lungs to the bottom as you exhale. Again, full, complete breaths. And as you take your next inhale, float the arms all the way up and overhead. Bring the palms together. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Good, once again, inhale, float the arms all the way up and overhead, palms together. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. So this time, inhale, float the arms all the way up and overhead. As you exhale, release the hands down behind you, interlace the fingers. So you can either bring palms together or square off the wrists, whatever feels best for you, or even take hold of opposite elbows. But what we wanna think of is again, that head being right on top of the spine. Think of that little chin, the chin drawing back, shoulder blades drawing back, nice opening across the front of the body. And then we'll do a little movement here for the neck. And again, important that we have that head right over top of the spine. If we have the head forward and we turn left and right, it's not gonna help us. So draw that head, that chin back, almost like you're trying to make yourself a double chin. Nice deep inhale, exhale, gently rotate your gaze just as far to the right as you can comfortably go, don't force anything. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, gently rotate the gaze to the right. And then inhale, come back to center. So do that one more time each side, exhaling, rotating the gaze to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, rotating the gaze to the left. And inhale, back to center. Now releasing, actually keeping the hands or um, clasp or opposite elbows, Bend the knees, soften your knees, letting the arms rest on the back, draw the shoulder blades together, begin to hinge forward at the hips, coming to a half standing forward bend. So you're looking down, but the crown of the head's still lengthening forward. So we're not letting the head drop down. We're keeping that nice alignment in the spine, drawing the shoulder blades together. Think of drawing the lowest ribs towards the hips. Inhale and exhale. Then your option, you can bend the knees a little for, further, begin to let the arms come overhead as long as your shoulders don't drop down around your ears. Still, those shoulder blades are still drawing towards the spine. If you end up here, if your shoulders start to collapse down towards your neck, then rest your hands on your lower back, come back to that half standing forward bend. So breath or two here. Inhale, keep a general spin in the knees. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale, come back up. If you took that forward bend a little deeper, come back to that half forward bend with the hands resting, arms resting on the lower back. Bend your knees a lot. Send the sit bones behind you. 
and now sweep the arms forward, come to chair pose. Your arms can be at shoulder height or you can bring the arms up alongside the ear. Still think of those shoulder blades drawing down the spine or towards the spine, inhale and exhale. Now bend the elbows into a cactus pose variation. So we're looking here like this, we're drawing those elbows back, drawing those shoulder blades towards the spine. Keep lengthening through the crown of the head, nice inhale. Exhale, bring the elbows, forearms, and palms to touch in front. They may, they may or may not touch, but bring them towards each other parallel. And then inhale, the arms back, draw those shoulders back. Inhale, arms forward to touch if they do. And then inhale, draw the shoulders back. One more time like that. Inhale, exhaling, excuse me, and inhale. Now stay here. And we're just gonna gently pulse those forearms back as we draw the shoulder blades towards the spine. Keep drawing those lowest ribs towards the hips. Inhale and exhale. Good. Now bring the arms forward again to that chair pose. Press into the feet, inhale all the way up to your extended mountain pose. Bring the palms together. Bring the hands to the heart. Interlace the fingers. Press the palms away from you. As you press the palms away, let the upper back stretch. Let the shoulders stretch. Let the shoulders kind of wrap around onto the sides of the body. Feel that stretch between the shoulder blades. Now exhale, draw the shoulder blades back towards the spine. So we're drawing his arms into the shoulder sockets and then inhale, again, press the palms away. So we're getting that little stretch because those muscles tend to get, um, they're weak and tight all at the same time. And then inhale, draw them back. Exhale, press a little forward. Inhale, draw the shoulder blades towards the spine. So we're making those muscles between the shoulder blades work. And then we're pressing away and getting a little stretch. One more time, inhale and exhale. Now come back with those arms drawing back in, the shoulder blades towards the spine. Bring the arms overhead. Again, release the hands, palms together. Exhale, bring the hands down to the heart, bend the knees. We're gonna to come to that standing forward bend, half standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway up, reach the fingertips back, palms facing down. We're still drawing those shoulder blades towards the spine. Really think of activating the tricep muscles in the back of your body. If you are not at the front of your mat right now, go ahead and take a step or two forward to get to the front of your mat. And then we're gonna bend the knees, bring both hands down to the mat, step the right leg back, and then the left leg back, come to a plank pose, upper push-up position. Think of alignment here, crown of the head lengthening forward, drawing the shoulder blades towards the spine. If you need a little help for your um, support, you can always bring your knees down to the mat. If you find that you're collapsing into the shoulders or those shoulders aren't able to work with the knees lifted. So your option, inhale and exhale. Now bring both knees down to the mat. You can either keep your toes down or pick the feet up, crisscross the ankles. Nice deep inhale, exhale, bend your elbows back towards your hips, shoulder blades drawing towards the spine, lower all the way down onto your belly, straighten the legs, hands beside the chest, hug those elbows in, forehead to the mat. Inhale, lift up to a low cobra. So we're lifting from the back of the body. We're not pushing up with our hands. Exhale, lower down two more times, press into the feet. Inhale, lifting up and exhale, lower down. Good, one more time, inhale and exhale. Now press into the hands, come up to a table pose. Curl your toes under, sit bones up and back, downward facing dog. Nice length through the spine. You can bend your knees. You can pedal through the feet. You can have the legs straight. Still think of those arms drawing into the shoulder socket, shoulder blades sliding down the back. Inhale and exhale. In this position, as they slide down, your back is actually, they're going up because of your position and your inversion here. Inhale and exhale. Now release the knees down to the mat. Uncurl the toes. Come back to a child pose. Hips towards the heels, forehead towards the mat. To keep a neutral position for the neck, you might need to stack up the hands, letting the head rest on the hands. You can use a yoga block or a stack of books. If your head comes comfortably down, you can let the head just settle to the mat. Take a few breaths. Inhale and exhale. Another option for the arms. If the head is making connection with something and feels supported, you can bring the hands back beside the feet. With the shoulders just release. Inhale and exhale. Reconnect again with your breath. Full inhales and exhales. Mm 
we'll move very gently, bringing yourself up to a comfortable seated position. So this is a sequence. If you want to repeat, you can do that same little flow and sequence a couple times to help again, build a little um, strength in this part of the body that tends to not get enough um, work or it gets too much work. It gets too much work and we get into this repetitive stress kind of thing with the upper, um, the body. We get short and tight in the front of the body, overstretched and weak in the back of the body and just that imbalance doesn't help our posture. So again, a good sequence to help strengthen and stretch those parts of the body that need some help. So thanks for joining me today. I do have an online four week class series, Preview Your Posture, that starts this week, Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. There will be information in the comments or the um, information section below in the video, a link to um, get some more information about that if you would like. And please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you sometime soon in the saddle or on the mat. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.